Several years ago, Lockheed Martin had initiated the development of an amphibious variant of the C-130 Hercules equipped with floating. But unfortunately this project was never realized. But the amphibious Hercules project returned to the surface after the UDATA Special Operations Command, USACOM, became interested in using it. USACOM is now focusing on competition with Russia and China. In this competition, the Indo-Pacific region is one of the priorities. Therefore, the idea of the amphibious C-130 Hercules concept resurfaced. During a conference organized by USACOM for Industry, SOFIC, Special Operations Forces Industry Conference, last May 2022, Lockheed Martin displayed an image of the MC-130 Amphibious Capability, MAC. The Amphibious Hercules will be built on the basis of the MC-130J Commando II, a special version of the KC-130J series used by U.S. Special Forces with added flotation devices. It was stated that currently a feasibility study was being carried out to realize the Amphibious Hercules. It is estimated that the new MAC can be realized around 2025. This MC-130J aircraft is a multifunctional transport vehicle as well as a tanker. The MC-130J replaces an obsolete SOF fleet of 57 MC-130E, H, and P aircraft. The first aircraft were delivered in September 2011 with final delivery expected in fiscal year 2025. As is known, the MC-130J Commando II variant is designed to carry out infiltration, exfiltration and airdrop and refuel from the air to the V-22 Osprey tilt rotor transport aircraft. If we glance at the capabilities of the C-130J alone, the aircraft can operate in stealth or low visibility and fly at night at low altitudes and the aircraft can land on small airfields perfunctory. Especially if it becomes the C-130J amphibious. With the addition of floating, the MC-130J gets a new capability, namely that it can be landed on the surface of the water. Starting from rivers, lakes, or in coastal waters,